Hey, what is up, everybody? Um, this is it. We're here finally with Fallout 4. Um, we're gonna just do it, go ahead and start a new game because whenever I first went through this, this black screen right here took about three minutes. It might not this long because it's the second time through, but it might, might not. Um, I, I'd like to, um, like thank you all for coming back um to watch my Fallout 4 series and I'd like to take a quick moment of silence for uh all the victims who were hurt and killed in the Paris attacks thank you and now we're going to go ahead and get into it not really it's just a big ass cutscene it's like I don't know, like 6 minutes long like the whole first video here is gonna be cutscene. But it's a very good cutscene. I like this one. It's a lot better than previous games. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great great grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, son because if my time in the army taught me one thing it's that war war never changes okay so maybe it wasn't quite six minutes but whenever you first put the game, the game disc in, the first night, War never changes. I mean, dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. you just, okay. it, it feels like forever Absolutely. until you get and to the gameplay. Get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. And I'll stop hogging all the audio. Okay. Um. I haven't done any, ooh, ooh, a black guy. Ooh, a black guy. It's actually not a bad um, starting phase. It's actually pretty good. Um, oh, a Chinese guy. Got Glenn from The Walking Dead. I don't know. Eh, not really. Don't really look like him. Um, we have um, Dominic Purcell looking like there. Um, okay, we got like, I don't know, Uriah Farber, Faber maybe. <laughs> ah, got us our Idris Elba looking guy. Okay, just a normal all-American lad. No one gives a shit about his ugly ass. Ooh, he got a top-knot ponytail up there. And we got Triple H. That random guy, that random guy, that random guy, that random guy, that random guy. Wait, what was this guy? 
He's got a pretty good chin, pretty good nose, pretty good facial features. Uh, let's go with him. Gotta change that hair though. Um, Urban Ranger. It's actually not a bad haircut. I don't like it on his face though. Pompadour. Oh crap. I actually kind of like that. How much I love that new haircut. No, I want my hair black. Not black. Warm black. Um. Yeah, mm, warm black. See, haircut's really working for me. And that's good for the beard. Always gotta have a beard. Man's man. The renegade. Mis Mephistopheles. Uh. Swashbuckler. We ain't no motherfucking pirate. Gunslinger. Dash and row. Street brawler. Nah. Free rider. Lone and wander. No, I gotta go with Ooh, that. Mustache. Very cool. Let's change his hair. Colonial. There we go. Ronin it up. Yeah, not bad. Let's change his eyes a little bit. They're a little too big. Your eyes. The color. Let's change the color. One of my favorite things about you. Go light green. Make his lips. I clean up pretty nice. Yeah, I agree with that, homie. We already did hair, did color. So handsome. Um. Do we have a thicker beard? No, Doorsman. Mm. If that wasn't so thick, like, I want this just a, like a mix between that and that, and that doesn't really look like hair. That looks like just black specks. Common wealthy. Dead man's hand. Nope. Going with Lone Wanderer. Think, huh? Beard or no beard? Well, that's our skin tone. Let's go with Rosie. I like the Rosie. Um. What do you guys think? I'm actually thinking I like this. Okay. Okay. Extras. Nope. Body. Um. Go with like. Go with a little bit skinnier, a little muscular. That looks good. All right, like, time to do her. Hey, Probably not gonna do a whole lot to her. Ooh, wow. Damn, she ugly. What the fuck? No. 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 Oh. A little Pamke Jensen kind of look going on there with her, like, high cheekbones. Nope. 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 Hell no. Nope. What the hell is that? Like Hillary Clinton wrinkles right there? <laughs> Let's go back. Let's like try number two. Keep going. Keep her going. There we go. Okay. Let's change that hair. Young at heart. No, no. I, I know what I want. Where's Wendy the welder? Wendy the welder. 
Welder on the horse. Wendy the welder. That's what I'm talking I about. The best hairdresser, I swear. I'll make her top look a little better. Yeah, such great cheap That I was messing with her lip, but um, okay. Uh, yeah. Sweetie, you like my nose, right? There we go. Nose, the bridge of her nose. I think she looks damn good. What about that skin color? Yeah, it's not a bad one. Let's affect her body and piss off all the feminists. Well, it's shit, that's an ugly skin. Uh, I mean, that's not bad. The more I look at him, the more, that's like, slime. especially in that background, the more I think that the guy looks like the, like the, I can't think of his name, um, shit. He's like the, the head dwarf from the Hobbit movies. Like, the one who's, like, supposed to be, like, the, the king to the Iron Throne or something like that. Oh, wait, no, Iron Throne, <laughs> Iron Throne is Game of Thrones. Oh, man. Oh, I'm getting mixed up now. Um, I'm gonna explore a little bit here, um, just to finish out this episode. Um, I'm gonna make, I'm, the first one, the first couple are gonna be kind of short, I think. Um, let's get dressed. Let's get no, the we shirt. Get dressed twice. Okay, maybe we are dressed already. Yeah, he looks all right. I actually like him a little bit better than my main character. There's a the little baby. Let's play with the little baby. Let's see, what is that? Fresh diapers? Yep, yeah, fresh diapers. All right, let's see what we can do here. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee, one hundred and seventy-three point five degrees Fahrenheit, brewed to perfection. Now, today's newspaper just delivered. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. Hmm. My favorite. Grognak the Barbarian came back. Sugar bombs, one hundred percent daily value of sugar. This one's sad. Uh, never gonna find that dog. Dude, he's doing the dishes too. <laughs> How can someone so small drink so much? Nuka Cola, ice cold. <laughs> Saddle up Salisbury steak, graded A plus. <laughs> you know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Huh? Hmm. Wow. Look at you. I've exactly. How did it feel like you ever get so lucky, homie? Reading on next week's forecast, we have a high of 52. <laughs> um. Oh, uh, what's time? Uh. Unfortunately, we'll just go ahead and end on this Mr. Handybox. Um. Unfortunately, that's all we have today. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna save that. Um, huh. That's unfortunately that's all we have for today. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because this is gonna be a full let's play. Um, I'm probably gonna go through the the main storyline first, and then after that, I'll go through and do side quests or I might do like four or five episodes main story and then two or three four or five um episodes side quests and exploring and I'm hoping to do some like kind of like hidden things videos here and there in between but uh that's all for today I'm Vault Boy 51 thank you guys for watching 
and you guys have a great day.